Roger, we are green light for extraction. Ammo weapons resupply inbound. Lies on HVT, going loud. This is Infidel Airsoft Team, and you're watching Airsplat.com. I'm Brian, also known as War Junkie. Michael, also known as Chubbs. Isaac, Sack. Sean, Jester. And my name is Mark, and my name is Reckless. When we actually started out, it was, we were called SoCal Desert Airsoft Team. And it was just me and two other guys I found in the town where I live in Blythe. As we started off, and then I ended up finding out that a couple of them knew some guys in Parker, which was Isaac and Sean here, found them, they came out and started, we just played around in the desert. We've actually found him on Facebook, we found you on Facebook, and then we were just all like, let's just play some airsoft, and then we got together and played like four or five times out in the desert where I live, and then we decided to get serious about it. I first encountered airsoft again when I was in the military. I used to train with them for a little while and then I got out and forgot about airsoft for a little bit. And then I moved to California and then I found my love and joy for airsoft again. Yeah, I started airsofting almost 10 years ago um, here in like Loma Linda, Southern California. And uh, I was with the team here and then I moved out to Arizona and I was out in a little airsoft void out there and it was just, you know, whatever friends I could get together just keep playing and then hooked up with all these guys and now I'm just right back into it. I think the honor aspect of airsoft has a lot to do with why it's such a great sport. And if you're an honorable player and if you're a good person, good human being, then it works and you have fun and everybody has a blast. And if you're not, then like those people just kind of, they weed themselves out of the sport. We just, we love to play. We all do this for fun, we do it for the fans. You know, it's cool that we got lots of fans. We use a lot of blitz tactics, like rushing people and everything. Uh, I've taught the guys a bunch of little military tactics and stuff I learned when I was in the military, and those have greatly benefited us in our playing style. And like, pretty much we move as a team. We're usually never separated that much, and we've been playing together so much that we know, like, depending on what field we're playing at, we know where that person is at all times. We just pretty much, uh, we had our friends over at Rainbow Airsoft team. Uh, we talked to them about a month ago, and they actually directed us towards you guys, telling us, you know, a great company you guys are. You guys will actually, actually help out a team that's, you know, wanting to do things with the airsoft community and stuff like that, and pretty much can actually help you guys too. When Brian mentioned that. We, uh, he had contacted Airsplat. All the things, because he was forwarding the emails to us to kind of keep us in the loop. And when I read it, it was very professional. Yeah, I was it, super stoked about it. It was definitely yeah. one of those things where we could tell that you guys were just as excited as us to pick us up as a team for a yeah. sponsor team. And uh, I think from even the first email from Airsplat, it was a wholly different tune. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I didn't want to believe it feel. at first. It, yeah, it, it was surreal. Just, <laughs> was just, is this real? Well, it was too is good this, to is be true. Really I'm just happy Air Splat stepped it up and is willing to go out there and do this. Honor. Honor. Yeah. Just stay honorable Honor to the just sport. just keep playing. You know, but the more you play, the more you'll get comfortable with your equipment, the more you get comfortable with your guns, how they shoot. You know what you can expect from them and what you can't expect from them. Trial and, and error. Trial yeah. and error. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. And uh, if you have a team, play as much as you can together, so that way you guys can feed off of how you how each other play. Yeah. You know, and after a while, you'll be able to just move with your team as opposed to players moving. Even if you don't think you got hit, but there's a slight chance that you call that, it. yeah, call just it. call it. It's a game. You're not really gonna die. I'm like. sure. I had an old school JG G36 uh, machine gun. That thing was pretty awesome. Current gun that I use now, I like KWA a lot. I use the KWA SR7 Dev Group. So for me, uh, my first gun was probably 
a JGS system that I bought off of some random guy on Craigslist. Now I run with my, my custom King Arms Colt uh, Magpul Carbine. Uh, my first gun was an old KWA Glock 23F. I returned it and went to the other shop and I bought a Mark 23, a Tokyo Marui non-blowback Mark 23. His baby. And I still have it to this day and I think that is actually my favorite. The first gun that I used was an old style KWA Mac 11. Yeah. After that I decided that I needed a real gun. <laughs> So I got a CYMA M14. Yeah, I've been using almost a year now a uh, KWA SR12. First gun I've had was a custom Blazing Hog. It's the only gun I've ever had. Still use it to this day. There, there's as as sad as it to say there is a lot of drama out there in airsoft sometimes. Just. Put all the drama aside, just go out with your friends, have fun, meet new people, and just be honorable and just have a good time. It's a, it's a, it's game, a game that's turning into a sport <laughs> that everybody loves. Hit us up on our Facebook page if you guys want to ask any questions about how we got started, any advice you guys want from us, anything like that. We're glad to help.